Hello. Hello everyone and welcome back to Vlogmas. Right, today I am going to have a little organisational and clear out session of my wardrobes there behind me um, because they're overflowing a little bit and this is something that I always like to do in December time just so that I can get myself organised and ready um, for the new year. It's just like a nice way to start the new year when everything is kind of organised and looking clean and fresh. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to start off just by showing you the actual horrendous state that my wardrobes are in. Now this one actually isn't that bad, I don't think. Um, okay, no, the bags are quite bad. Um, so my bags, I've kind of have a, had a bit of an overload and yeah, it's looking a bit smushed in there and I clearly have no place for this scarf. So I'm gonna just go through the bags, have a reorganise of those. What are you up to? Is that nice? Is there something in there for you? Um, and I'm thinking that knitwear, this knitwear that's on here, I'm gonna have to move somewhere else because I've just got so much knitwear right now. Um, but this one, <coughs> excuse me, this one, is the worst one. Oh my god, I'm actually ashamed to show you this. I'm so ashamed. Look. Okay, so like it also look at the cardinal sin, how much knitwear I've got on hangers because I literally had nowhere to put it. Um so I've got all of this in here and then trousers and jeans along the bottom along with some hangers and sweatpants and stuff. Usual stuff on the doors which I use for bags and I've got a scarf there. And then just in this middle section here, I've basically used it as a dumping ground, which I am very, very ashamed of, hanging my head in shame right now. Got some little helpers here who are going to help me along the way. Yeah, you here for motivation? Say, come on, mummy! Yay! And then over here, as per usual, I have the snack station. So I've got some sour cream and sweet onion kettle chips and some Robinson squash. So let's let's just get started. Right, that is the first task done. So basically what I wanted to do was just remove all that stuff that I'd piled in there. And this is it. That's quite horrendous, isn't it? Look how Boris is here. You doing girls things? Doing some girls things? Yeah? You're eating mummy's crisp crummies, aren't you? Um, so yeah, all of this I had shoved in that middle section, which is shameful, to be quite honest with you. Um, now what I usually do when I do a big cleanse is I take everything out, lay it on the bed, then go through it and then put it all back, like one by one. But because this isn't a massive cleanse, this is just a mini cleanse, I'm just going to start to go through what I've got in here, see what stuff technically is kind of more summery because I might still have the odd bit of summer stuff in here which I didn't remove from the last time I did a full cleanse and then also any stuff that I just want to get rid of um, and I will start making some piles that way. Okay, I have created considerable amounts of space but I have the slight oversight of all this stuff on here um, and I think all these jeans are keepers because they're ones that I've worn recently and or washed. So I'm going to have to hang all these and pop them back in there. And then that's probably going to have filled that again. And then go through all of this and hang that and put it in there as well. Now I've been trying to assess the knitwear because this is probably the most knitwear I've ever had. However, you know, come sort of September, October time knitwear is all I wear like I might wear a t-shirt underneath and knit as a layer but I'll wear knitwear every single day so unfortunately there's no other option for me to hang it which is a cardinal sin and something I've told you guys never ever to do but unfortunately if we look on this side these shelves here are the only areas where I can actually fold knitwear and well yeah they've already got knitwear in them <laughs> so if we add to the collection all this and that massive pile over there 
there's just not enough space to fold the knitwear so what I'm going to do I'm going to keep the really heavy knitwear out so that I can fold it and pop it in there and then the other knitwear that I've got I'm going to have to hang I'm afraid right I'm starting to feel like things are becoming a little more full of order now I'm going to have a little sit down um, right so jeans are done along the bottom I also took out some of the skirts which are over there on the right I kept some because those are like silky ones I will probably not wear them this season because I don't ever wear skirts in autumn winter um, but the jeans are nicely coordinated oh sorry about that um, and then up here oh I'm gonna have to go up oh. um, up here the knitwear is looking plentiful and then my tiny little selection of t-shirts and shirts on the end. So this is all done for anyone that hasn't seen one of these videos before. I do everything in order of colour. Um, and then jeans and trousers are mixed together and they're also done in colour. So basically from light to dark, um, which is the same up here. And these are categorised, obviously. Shirts, t-shirts, knitwear, and then on the end here I've got hoodies and sweatshirts, which are separately classed in a little section of their own. Um, now just to, because I haven't started doing the next wardrobe in there yet, so just to start making a little bit of room, I'm going to remove the basket bags, my Loewe basket bag, because I've accumulated a few new handbags over the last... Mm, probably three months so I think I'm going to need some extra space there and those summer bags can go away for now okay they are out so what I've just done is what I said I was going to do remove those summery bags so that gives me over here two oh where's the hook gone up there oh it's come out okay I'll have to find that hook technically two hooks spare for more bags and then over this side I've doubled up my hats so I do have my other lack of color hat under there and then I'm able to put my scarves on here because obviously during autumn winter or winter now these are going to be what I'm wearing so I've got my Burberry one there acne one acne camel one and then that's just a basic top shop black scarf there those are the only scarves that I have really so that's all sorted now I can finally move on to this side and start to sort out the bags because they're just so cluttered I mean look at my vintage Chanel down there it's awful isn't it um and then yeah this uh, I don't even know what's in there need to sort out this top section and probably there's a couple of blazers that could go but only a couple let's not go crazy now okie dokie kind of starting at square one with this one so I have culled a few blazers and also taken out some of my summer ones because I had some linen ones in there and those are definitely not going to be worn when it's this cold so those are kind of like my autumn winter staples which is great and now I've got all this space for bags and my bags are now all over the floor and the bed literally bags are plenty everywhere um, so now I'm just going to try and figure out what kind of order I want them in and how I want them to go back in here right I am finished it's gone dark outside hence why the curtains are closed but actually this hasn't taken me as long as what it normally takes because it's been um, a, a mild clear out it's not been a massive one because we are sort of mid-season so there was no real need for me to do a ginormous clear out it's just had a nice bit of refining to it for before Christmas um, and before the new year starts but because I've had so many clothes out, there's probably fluff and dust everywhere. So I'm going to give the bedroom a quick whiz around with the hoover. And then I'm going to show you guys the finished result. Right, this room is looking nice and serene again. It's looking all tidy, all neat. But the best bit is what's in here. So let's have a look in the first wardrobe kind of didn't have much inspiration for what I wanted to do with the bags to be honest with you um, but I just felt like I needed a bit of a switch up just so that I can sort of see what I've got and yeah I'm trying to basically not buy new handbags 
Um, you guys have seen that I've been buying a lot of vintage bags, which were, there we go. It's got the Fendi baguette down there. That's um, Jacqueline, my vintage Chanel classic flat. Um, oh, vintage Chanel backpack on the door. So I'm trying to buy, if I want like a new handbag, then I'm trying to buy pre-loved or vintage. Or essentially the aim of the game is to actually use what I already have. Because as you can see, there are a lot of handbags there. So in theory, I should just be using what I have rather than buying new ones. Um, now on the door. For those of you who are new, I do like to utilise my door space. So, got my headphones on there, bag that's from And Other Stories, and obviously my vintage Chanel. This over here I haven't changed at all, so I've got my mirror there. This is my what, what sunglasses am I going to wear mirror. So I've got some up there which are non-branded, then I've got my jewellery, and then my three little gold baskets full of sunglasses, mostly Ray-Bans. And then here, so we've got some bags, again, no particular order or sort of colourway, well, kind of. Okay, so these are kind of dark and black, and then I suppose these are the more neutrals. I hadn't really planned that out, I just kind of started shoving the bags back in any old place. And then back there I've got my travel accessories, so I think that one in the middle is my travel steamer. The one on the end is my travel jewellery bag and then those are my travel bags that go inside your suitcase. So that is side number one in all its glory. Let's move on to side number two. So as I mentioned, I am committing the cardinal sin of knitwear and it is hung. I just have no other option, like when it comes to space. It is a space saver to be able to hang things. Folding, especially folding knitwear, takes up so much room. If I had shelves, I would. Um, obviously those shelves are for bags and I don't really have anywhere else to put the bags. So yes, catch 22, but it's okay. I've hung my cashmere robe just on this little hook here because I did a bit of a belt clear out. Um, so I've now just got about four belts over on this side. So I have that hook free for my cashmere robe and then yeah along the bottom jeans and trousers are looking pretty neat um i'll probably have another clear out of them in a couple of months because i do tend to accumulate jeans very very quickly because i like to buy lots of different styles to try them out for you guys um, and obviously i can't always keep all of them but don't worry they are always donated to good causes and then yeah, the knitwear up the top, I think that's looking pretty good. Yes, that is a job well done, Emma, a job well done. Okie dokie, and now that that is done, I'm gonna go and see what I can make myself for dinner. Simon's out today um, and out for this evening. It's probably gonna get really dark. So let me just see if I can turn a light on. Whoop. Careful navigation. Um, yeah, so I'm left to fend for myself. Whoa, that's bright and I look very blue. Hang on a minute. That's better. Right, okay. Who, are you going in the garden? Sorry, guys. I'm just letting these guys in the garden. Let's go for weebies. Yes? There we go. I'm still getting the hang of this new door that we've had installed because it's weird. And yeah, you have to do random things. But on the agenda now, I have to find myself something to eat. Look at me, like, literally panning around, like, where do I find food? Okay, well, the easiest food is in the freezer. Da -da -da -da, and I believe it is this shelf where I find the chips. <laughs> so whenever I am left to fend myself, I have chips because I cannot screw them up. And then also, oh, these, these are literally my favourite things on earth. Corn southern fried chicken bites. Look at Bella, she's staring at me like, mum, I can see you, but I can't figure out how to get in. <laughs> Honestly, these doors have freaked them out so much. It's so funny. Bella, come here. Come on, puppet. Bella. Oh, she's shivering. Come on in, darling, you silly fluffin. If mummy can figure out the door. Come on in, baby girl. Come on, oh, sweetie, were you shiverings? Come on, quick, in you come. That's it, come on, everybody. That's it, hello, darling. No, where are you going? Go in. 
Come on. Yes, Boris is coming. No, where are you going? Bumblebee's keeping himself warm up here. Hey, Bee. Come on, Bee. Come sit up here, darling. Come on. What are you up to? You just... Oh, that's a big stretch. Rawr. Big lion bear. Right, should we watch a film? Should we pop something on Netflix? Ah, yes. Look at that. I added some beans for extra children's menu factor. Now, I think I've got my ratios a little bit wrong here. But to overcompensate for the lack of chips, I have given myself some cheese. Oh, honestly, this... Say what you like, this for me is the best meal ever. Now, in other non-food related news, my entertainment for this evening is The Holiday. I must admit this is a film I never particularly warmed to, but I'm gonna give it another shot. Right, now I've eaten my din-dins. I have popped on my big cozy robe. I love this bad boy, honestly, it's the best thing ever. Um, and I'm going to finish off watching the holiday cuddled up on the sofa with the babies. Mm -hmm.